How you doing? Keep going. Why? I'm nobody's giving me any money. I got a dollar for you. You do? Oh, that's all I want. I'm, I'm Richard the Juggler. I'm just sorry I didn't have any food. So how long have you been doing this, Richard? About an hour. <laughs> an hour? Well, I got two, two and a half dollars an hour. Well, how long have you been like, juggling? Uh, I, I've been here. I've been, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to drop it. But see, nowadays I bring it downtown. They're wet. I won't drop it. The uh, famous uh, Muni's liquor. Oh. My sister gave me a book on how to juggle when I was 13 for Christmas. And by New Year's, I had 30 patterns that got creative. Oh, sorry. First stop is uh, Cows and Coffee. Oh, wait, there's one more. There's one more. That's good. There's one guy in the bottles is the best part. I used to do three glass bottles barefoot in New York City. That was about all I ever had to do. One more time, take two. Tennis racket comes around that way, and then there, and then I, I'm gonna learn pirouettes on top of that. But in the meantime, yeah, there's other people watching, but they're not gonna give me any money on it. If I can let go of the gas real quick, I'm in hell, bro. I'm hungry. So, Richard, tell me this if there's one thing you want people to know about you, what is it? What, they, what I want them to know about me? That's yeah. an interesting question. You can put it this way I, I, uh, Money. Unless I get glass bottles and stuff. Are you waiting for your friends to get out of the liquor store? No, no, I just came to talk to you. Oh, okay, because I need to get that dollar. Okay. All right, down. well, let's make it happen. I'm going down to uh, Cow's End Coffee and sit there. I'll drink a coffee with a refill, and, you know, we can sit around and talk for an hour. But right now, I didn't mean to do this. I juggled downtown L.A. It's boring, and people appreciate it a lot more. With a dollar, I can get a small with a free refill. I'm still a quarter short on, on the uh, pizza. Well, I'll tell you what, Richard. What can you do at five? Well, I could eat. I could juggle more for you, but let's go to Cow's End. Well, I need to get going somewhere, but... More film. Let me think of what else I can do. Okay. I could be in the way. No, here needs liquor uh, parking lot. We'll see, I have like a hundred little jokes and a hundred little type of juggling. I have one. There it goes. That's the wrong cone. I have to switch to the other cone. You see how this one folds in half? Anyway, what's your name? What do you have? What's your film? Uh, my name's Ryoga. You're just collecting different stuff? Um, I'm from San Francisco and I'm just down for a couple oh, days. He told me to go. Oh, that is amazing. San Francisco no good anymore. Well, the, old, the main idea is not to drop it. But believe it or not, the tennis racket thing goes smoothly. But I get it right. Uh, with four tennis balls, I got one pattern. If these got wet, I can sure go this way. I can see the pattern. I can do something called, something called a hill and pass. I'll give you a chance to do it. Either way. This one that, uh, that was uh, from the Ronald McDonald commercial. They had a jungle in Ronald. Yeah. That was his trick, so I stole that. And then all this stuff, it's picked up as I go along. And that crosses. Uh, with the uh, objects. You know, Richard, I'm going to do you something better. I just came from Del Taco. You got some herb? No, I don't oh, have any herb. skip the egg daddy and eat your tacos instead? Well, I bought this one, but I haven't tested it yet. Thank you. So, if you'd like this, uh, I don't even know what it is, but I know I bought it, and I know I, I haven't tested it. drink yet. And you're welcome to it. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Um, Absolutely. I try not to do it here for money. When I'm homeless, I'm on the beach. But in the winter, I got a good job renovating houses out in Arizona. Nice. In the summer, like aside from collecting GR, save up, go to Rainbow Gathering. I try to get jobs, but I'm 46. I got gum disease. I kind of fall down after four hours. You're a talented man. Thank you. I wish you the best. I really do. Been there since I was a little kid. A lot of my friends from New York City and college went out to San Francisco. But they're my age, I don't think you know them. I used to bounce their names off of people. One of them's grandfather was uh, the scarecrow in the Wizard of Oz. I dated his granddaughter. Nice. Mary Bolger, she was pretty well known. She was a um, you know, nightclub employee at, at the Pyramid in New York City. It was like the ultimate. And her and her friends, we could just go anywhere. It was great. Unfortunately, I had the skateboard. I was going off on my own. I was writing books. They liked me, but I didn't need them to get into clubs free or anything like that. I opened a lot of doors for myself when I went to NYU.
college itself was terrible. Where's your, uh, where's your major? I tried to get into film school. They put me in general studies. After three semesters, I couldn't stand it. And the whole thing was a bad idea. I kind of did it just to get to New York City. I've worked so hard. My mom made me do four years of Catholic high school. So what? You know, it was... It, it, I didn't take out any loans. They had a little money for me to go to college. So nice. Well, I go to NYU. After three semesters, I was actually starting to flunk. And uh, I couldn't handle it at all, no. Technical school, I come back to Los Angeles. When I finally had some money in my life, I used a good piece of it to go back to school. Electronics installation and car stereos and alarms, and I got a good job in a shop installing. Two or three months, and I used to come to this beach on the weekends with money. But I couldn't stand listening to the hip hop. Climbing in and out of the car gets tiring. It's like installing underneath the car and going back to the pool and stuff. It drives you crazy. So now I take it easy. I renovate houses for poor people in the winter. And then in the summer, I'm free as a bird. I can come here and juggle. Wow, what a life. You're better already, thank you. You can have a drink too, there's some fries in here as oh, well. Oh, really? Yeah. I was gonna drink a damn cup. But I'm on my way for coffee. I don't want to take a drink unless it's something you're not gonna finish. No, I'm not gonna finish. Take it, take it, take it. I, I might even have a Sprite in my car if you want that. Oh, I can't, I can't really handle um... the drink to root beer if you want it. Thank you. Okay. And we'll fall this down and pack it up. I'll give you the guided tour if you want, but. Well, I didn't need to go on, but thank you so much for giving me a moment of your time. Thank you. You have a lot of editing to do. I wish you could go on for hours, but like I said, I got to feel better already, but this, the coffee is special. Well, you don't like coffee? How long are you going to be here? Uh, a couple more hours till I go home. Oh, that's it then. Well, good. I'm glad you had... Did you see the skate park? Yes, I've been there. You caught me the juggler. Obviously, I'm not in good shape today, but like I included the joke about the bottles at the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. It's true. I can't find beer bottles. The best part of the show is doing it barefoot in New York City. Three glass bottles, no tennis balls. By the way, anything I can do with the tennis balls, I can do with three basketballs. Nice. It's a lot more fun. by bouncing them off the wall, behind the back, all of them. I can do all 30 patterns. Basketballs. If I can't carry them around all day, this year I don't have any yet. Hula hoops go even higher than the traffic comes. They go on two stories in the air, they can see them. And by the way, they can't possibly hurt anybody. I never brought it to an agent. I'm not sure what they would want me to do. Go to some parking lot and they'll just blase say, oh, we only want you to do it for four hours. And they don't know the Guinness record is 11 hours. Nobody can do that for four hours, basically. What, juggle uh, hula hoops? Anything. Three objects. The, the world record is 11 hours. Probably, you know, little juggling balls don't even weigh much because after 11 hours, you know, where would you be? But yeah, I mean, anything. You want to be the first one to go over 11? I've had days where I think I've totaled more than 11 hours over the course of the day. But see, I kept stopping to collect money and go eat and everything. I don't know what it would be like to go straight through endurance. I'd be happy with those if I could do it for a half an hour. I don't, I'm not sure the heavy stuff is even possible. Nobody else juggles the big stuff, though. I went back to my old block in New York City, my old park. There's a guy there now who comes from Columbia. This is two years ago. To juggle five clubs in the park, right where I used to play when I was a little kid. In other words, I'm only juggling three. But he'd come and give me a dollar when he caught me on Houston Street anyway. It took him a long time to explain who he was. And I said, that's funny. You're juggling five. You're way better than me. He says, but the big things. I said, well, try it. So maybe he's doing these in New York by now. I don't know. I know he can do it. This is practice. You're amazing. Practice, but I, yeah, thank you. But I'm doing the orange tubes that are bigger than this tube. The ones over at the skate park I practice with. I wish I had one of these cameras again. Man. I was filming some good stuff. Don't forget the skate park. That pool is very special. You get a film of that pool, there's people in San Francisco, anybody who skates at all, they're going to want to see that. Because that's, that's a really good pool. There was a contest. What about the X Games? That's tomorrow. I mean, the, the uh, obstacle course. I was, there. I was there. Good, you got that. Ninja time. Warrior, yeah, I was there. They had one called the, uh, I forget what it was called. Uh, it was the guys who do the thing parkour where they jump around. Yeah, yeah, I do parkour. Okay, believe it or not, those, those cones there, those big supports, like, 
they used to hold up the pier or something. Mm -hmm. There's a circle on top, like two feet, three feet around, right? Mm -hmm. And that's straight up on the top. The, the dude's stand there, do gainer, and land on his feet. He did it twice. It's on the show. I really want to see it. It's lit up at night. This is an incredible. Rest. When did this happen? This was a couple of years ago. I'm trying to remember the name of the show. Something obstacle, something ultimate obstacle. Uh, the MTV parkour challenge. Ultimate obstacle, a parkour challenge, maybe. Uh, you see the one that's filmed. Look for the one that's filmed. If you can go through episodes, look for other stuff that's filmed right there. Okay. Especially the one is after dark. I'm saying it's incredible because they're running up ramps and doing the flips and landing on stuff. It's, I think they said it was MTV. Yeah. Uh, then I, I know all the guys who are on that show. Maybe. So it, it might have been Brian, Brian or Roscoe. So I'm the juggling. They saw me do the cones. All right. I'm doing that all day. Not for money. I was just doing it for fun. I'll check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Really. I wish you the best. God bless you. That was at coffee shop. Here I come. No. Next time you're here, that's the place for coffee. Okay? Free refills. Better coffee. All the shops in Venice. Be safe. Thank you.